You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. The global risk posed by Omicron is very high. That's the latest from the World Health Organization. It says some regions could face severe consequences as the new coronavirus variant spreads. Omicron's very emergence is another reminder that although many of us might think we're done with COVID-19, it's not done with us. Japan is to shut its borders to most foreigners, joining Israel and imposing some of the strictest controls aimed at keeping out the new variant. In the Netherlands, a couple are detained by police after escaping from travel quarantine after traveling from South Africa. They left their quarantine hotel where they were meant to be in isolation inside a room. They managed to get here to Schiphol Airport, board a plane to Spain before they were detained and handed over to the health authority. The sex trafficking trial of British publishing heiress Ghislaine Maxwell is set to get underway in New York. And attempts to revive the Iran nuclear deal resume today with talks in Vienna. In the next half hour, we'll bring you the latest from the WHO in Geneva. We'll be live in Basel in Switzerland and Vienna. The new Omicron variant of coronavirus is likely to pose a very high global risk and some regions will face severe consequences from it. Now that's the warning we've just had from the WHO. They are advising countries to accelerate the vaccinations of high priority groups. We now know 13 countries have reported confirmed or probable cases of the new variant, but it's not yet been established how transmissible or dangerous it is or how effectively the current vaccines will protect against it. There are more than 30 mutations in the spike of this new variant, which is the part of the virus that vaccines train the body to recognize and attack.